everybody. I want to talk to you about the gift of goodbye. I recently heard somebody talk about the gift of goodbye. It means when somebody chooses to leave, you may not realize it right away, but they just did you a huge favor. But I also want to put the spin on it that you can be the one receiving the gift of goodbye, but also you can be the one giving the gift of goodbye. That you come to a place of realizing and making the decision that it's time to let it go so you can move on. What you're saying goodbye to can be many things. It could be an attitude or a feeling. Fear, bitterness, anxiety, low self-esteem. It could be a situation or a circumstance. That car, that house, that's way over your budget. But you decided, that's what I want, and I'm getting it no matter what it costs, even if I can't really afford it. Maybe it's a who. Someone who treats you badly, someone who's not a good influence in your life, someone who brings hurt and pain to your life, someone who you have allowed to make you feel negative or, or bad about yourself. Or it could be someone who is not a bad person. It just means that their part in your life's journey is over and it's time to give them and yourself the gift of goodbye. Don't get upset with yourself or mad at them. Instead, shake the dust off your feet like it says in both Mark 6, 11 and Matthew 10, 14. If anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet and move on. Stop focusing on what you don't have and focus on what you do have. Focus on the good relationships in your life. Invest in the good things and people in your life and thank God for the right connections in your life. So, if you're holding on to the past hurts and pains or bad attitude, say goodbye and let it go. If someone can't treat you right, love you back, or see your worth, give them the gift of goodbye and let it go. If you're involved in a wrong relationship or addiction, give the gift of goodbye and let it go. If someone that you've been trying to help won't even help themselves, it's time to give them and yourself the gift of goodbye. It doesn't mean it won't be hard because most times we don't want to let it go anyway. But it's even if we know it's, it's harmful to us. But it's time to open a new chapter in your life. Recognize what you need to let go of. Say goodbye and realize God wants to order your steps and align you to walk in the place of blessing he has prepared for you. And thank God for the gift of goodbye. Have a blessed week.